Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Toni Morrison. American novelist Toni Morrison won both the Pulitzer and the Nobel Prizes for Literature. A Mercy and the Bluest Eye, two of her most popular works, are among her best-known works. Pulitzer and Nobel Prize-winning author Toni Morrison was also a professor of English. African-American individuals have a key role in her stories, and her books are renowned for their epic themes, beautiful language, and deeply realized characters. Novels such as The Bluest Eye and Beloved are among her best-known works. Among the many honors and honorary degrees that Morrison has received over the years, one of the most prestigious was the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2012. Childhood and Education Lorraine, Ohio native Toni Morrison was born on February 18, 1931, as the second of four children to Chloe Anthony Wofford. Wofford's father was a welder by trade, but he also worked multiple jobs to make ends meet for his family. Mother Rama worked as a housekeeper. It is this love of literature and folklore that Morrison later credits with establishing in her a sense of clarity and perspective. For most of her childhood, Morrison was unaware of the racial divisions that existed in her neighborhood because it was an all-white one. Nobody felt I was inadequate when I was in first grade. I was the only person of color and the only one who could read in my elementary school she said to a New York Times reporter afterward. Morrison was a lifelong student taking Latin in high school and reading some of the greatest European literature. In 1949, she received her high school diploma from Lorraine High School. Morrison's passion for literature remained unabated while she was a student at Howard University. As a result of her English major, she also earned a certificate in classics. To further her education, Morrison went to Cornell University after completing her studies at Howard University in 1953. She completed her master's degree in 1955 by writing a thesis on the works of Virginia Woolf and William Faulkner. Her next stop was Texas, where she accepted a position as professor at Texas Southern University. Life as a mother and random house editor. Morrison returned to Howard University in 1957 to take up a position as an English instructor. Harold Morrison, a Jamaican-born architect, met her there. In 1961, Harold was born to the couple, who married in 1958. Morrison joined a campus-based writing group after the birth of her son. It all began with a short narrative that she wrote with the group. He left Howard in 1963 after Morrison made the decision to do so. She and her kid returned to the United States after spending the summer in Europe. On the other hand, her spouse had made the decision to return to Jamaica. Morrison was expecting their second child at the time. Slade was born in 1964, and she returned to Ohio to live with her parents. Her family then relocated to Syracuse, New York, where she took a job as a senior editor for a textbook publisher. Morrison went on to edit Tony K. Bambara and Gail Jones's literary novels, as well as celebrities like Angela Davis and Muhammad Ali, while working for Random House. Books. The Bluest Eye. He wrote his debut novel in 1970 titled The Bluest Eye. After becoming a Catholic, she adopted the name Tony as her literary first name, based on a nickname taken from St. Anthony. An African-American girl who thinks her life would be better if she had blue eyes is the focus of the story in the novel Pecola Breedlove. Confrontational novel did not sell well, with author Toni Morrison noting in an afterword in 1994 that her main character was dismissed, trivialized, misinterpreted by the public. Sula. In spite of this, Morrison continued to write on the African-American experience in a variety of ways. After Sula, 1973. She wrote a novel about the friendship between two women who grew up in the same small Ohio town. The American Book Award shortlisted Sula for the fiction category. Song of Solomon. Until Richard Wright's Native Son, a novel by an African-American author, the Book of the Month Club had never featured a work by an African-American author. Milkman Dead, a Midwestern urban dweller, tries to make sense of his family history and the harsh reality of his environment in this lyrical novel. Morrison won numerous praises for the novel which would go on to win the National Book Critics Circle Award and become a recurring favorite among academics and the general reading public. Beloved won the Pulitzer Prize. Morrison was elected to the National Council on the Arts in 1980 as a rising literary celebrity. Tar Baby was released the following year. The folk tales of the Caribbean were a source of inspiration for this work, which garnered a mixed reception from critics. It was, however, her next painting that stood out as one of her finest works. Beloved, 1987 is a magical love story. Character Seta, a former enslaved person who chose to kill her children rather than watch them suffer the fate of slavery, is inspired on Margaret Garner, a historical woman. In spite of her best efforts, she was responsible for the death of her infant daughter. Though her daughter returns as a live entity, 
said his presence in her home remains constant. Morrison won numerous literary accolades, including the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, for this mesmerizing book. Oprah Winfrey, Fandy Newton, and Danny Glover starred in the film adaptation ten years later. The Nobel Prize Upon his arrival at Princeton University in 1989, Morrison began teaching and soon after published his first book, Playing in the Dark, The Literary Imagination in the Age of Whiteness, 1992. She was the first African-American woman to win the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1993 for her contributions to the field. Next year she published the Harlem Book Jazz, which deals with love and treachery in the 1920s. In 1994, Morrison launched the Princeton Atelier, a creative writing and performance workshop at Princeton. For students, the curriculum aims to enable them develop their own creative works in a wide range of artistic disciplines. More works. Paradise. Outside of academia, Morrison kept penning new stories and novels. When she published her second book, Paradise, 1998, which was set in a fictional African-American town called Ruby, critics were less than enthusiastic about the book. Books for Children Morrison began writing children's books in 1999. In addition to The Big Box, 1999, she collaborated with her son Slade on The Book of Mean People, 2002, The Ant or the Grasshopper, 2003, and Little Cloud and Lady Wind, 2003, with whom she has a son, 2010. Writing the play Dreaming Emmett in the mid-80s, and the lyrics for four songs with composer Andre Previn and Sweet Talk with composer Richard Daniel Poor in 1997, she has also experimented with various genres. In 2000, Oprah Book Club selected The Bluest Eye, which went on to sell hundreds of thousands of copies despite its poor startup sales. Love. After that, in 2003, she published Love a novel in which the action alternates between the past and present. The protagonist is Bill Cozy, a wealthy entrepreneur and proprietor of the Cozy Hotel and Resort. In the flashbacks, we learn about his community involvement and his complicated love life with the ladies in his life. His untimely death casts a pall over the present. Morrison has constructed a magnificent, majestic work whose mysteries are progressively revealed, said a publisher's weekly critic. Libretto Morrison revealed in 2006 that she was stepping down from her position as a professor at Princeton. Beloved was chosen the finest novel of the last 25 years by the New York Times Book Review. The libretto for Margaret Garner, an American opera based on the true account of a slave woman's life, continued her exploration of new art genres. 2007 was when the opera had its debut with Manhattan's New York City Opera. The early days of colonization in the United States were revisited by Morrison in A. Mercy, 2008 a work that has been called page-turning. When a woman is both a slave and a mother, she is forced to make a dreadful decision about her child, who becomes part of an expanding family. The Washington Post called the book a combination of mystery, history, and longing, and the New York Times named it one of the year's top ten books to recommend. Book of Nonfiction Besides the numerous books she's written, Morrison has also penned nonfiction. In 2008, she released a book of essays, reviews, and speeches titled What Moves at the Margin, which collected her work. Morrison, an advocate for the arts, spoke out against censorship in October 2009 after a Michigan high school rejected one of her books. Burn This Book, an anthology of essays on censorship and the power of the written word, was edited by her and released the same year as her dissertation. As the Free Speech Leadership Council was being established, she spoke to a large assembly about the significance of combating censorship. To ponder the erasure of other voices, to imagine novels not yet written, poems not spoken out loud for fear of being overheard, outlawed languages flourishing in secret, essays questions about authority never being addressed, unstaged plays, and cancelled films, that is a nightmare I can't bear to think about. It's as though the entire cosmos is written in invisible ink it was Morrison's opinion. Based on her Norton lectures at Harvard, The Origin of Others was published in 2017 as an exploration of race, terror, mass migration and borders. Late Career Writing home. Throughout her 80s, Morrison remained one of literature's most accomplished storytellers. In 2012, she published her first novel, Home, which focused on the post-Korean War era of American history. For me, it was an attempt to get past my nostalgic attachment to the 50s as a time of relative ease and contentment. The era of the 60s. Oh, for the love of God, she told The Guardian about the process of deciding on the location. More than 58,000 individuals lost their lives in a terrible conflict that was never referred to as one by the media. McCarthy was a prominent figure. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, impairs Frank, the main character, 
and his capacity to interact with others in the real world. As Morrison was working on the book, he also suffered a devastating personal loss. Slade died in December 2010 of pancreatic cancer. Morrison collaborated with opera director Peter Sellers and songwriter Rokia Traoré on a new staging of William Shakespeare's Othello around the time when Home was published. Trio based on Desdemona, which premiered in London in summer of 2012, focusing on Desdemona's connection with her African nurse Barbary. Morrison was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama in the year of his birth. In the name of God, Amen. After releasing God Help the Child in 2015, author Toni Morrison focused on Bride, a dark-skinned black lady who works in the cosmetics industry and is still dealing with the trauma of her childhood. The BBC showed Toni Morrison remembers the same year. She was awarded the Penn Slash Saul Bellow Award for American Fiction in the fall of 2016. Death. Montefiore Medical Center in New York City pronounced Morrison dead on the morning of August 5th. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this, see you in next video.